In the small farming town of Blythe, California, agriculture is an important but many times overlooked aspect of the community and economy. The Palo Verde Valley contains 93,375 acres of cultivated land. Among the most notable crops are alfalfa, sudan, wheat, barley, and cotton. While the valley also boasts other popular crops, including vegetables, citrus, corn, oats, and palm trees. While the soil in this Southern California desert valley is rich, the crops would not be able to grow if it were not for the life-sustaining water from the nearby Colorado River. In this dry desert climate, the crops are irrigated by 244 miles of main and lateral canals. Agriculture Days was started about six years ago with an idea to bring agriculture to the younger population in Blythe. So we're bringing over the elementary school, pre-K through third grade, and letting them see what agriculture is about. I'm Mark Mullion, the ag teacher here at the high school and the FFA advisor. Welcome to Ag Days 2014. Each year, well over 1,300 students pour into Palo Verde High School to become educated about agriculture and how this essential industry affects their community and everyday life. At the market, at the supermarket, gardens, stores, Store. the farmer's market. Plants grow from barns. Uh, I think farms and from the grocery store. I don't remember what you say. I think stores from seeds. And cloth. Cotton. I don't know. Your clothes are made out of cotton. Do you know where cotton comes from? No. Um, plants. Um, a factory? My name is Mark Mullion. I'm the high school ag teacher and the Blythe FFA advisor. I think a lot of elementary school students don't know where food comes from and, and what's involved in getting the food to the store. Uh, a lot of the young people just think that everything comes from the grocery store and that's the end product and the end result. But we need to make them aware that agriculture is a very important part of not only the state of California, but we feed the nation, we feed the world, and we need to keep things going and we need to keep bringing young people into the agricultural field uh, so that they can do better things and we can keep growing the population and growing the needs of the population as the population grows. Our objective behind the Ag Day is to let the children know that if they eat and they wear clothes, they're involved in agriculture. And so many children, even in a farming community like Blythe, thinks their food comes from the grocery store. Well, first of all, it has to be grown before it gets to the grocery store. Uh, we have brought cotton so that the students see where clothing is made. And we've brought all the different kinds of fruits and vegetables that are growing in our valley. Our uh, booth today is actually a farmer's market. And we have, um, cauliflower and carrots and zucchini and bell peppers and artichokes and we have um, cabbage all of these things are grown in the school gardens so yeah CWA does incorporate education for the young children and I think it allows them to understand how important Blythe is to the United States and the world Well, we've learned a lot about tractors, and that seems to be exciting. We've learned about the pumpkin and how it floats instead of sinks, and I think that was exciting for them as well. I like the animals, and the kids seem to like that too. I think it makes them more aware of what goes on in the valley and what's grown here and the machinery and stuff, so that maybe when they're out and about, they'll pay more attention and look. It'll raise our children to know more about agriculture and farming and the things that keep our world running. All the kids are really loving my station with the planting sweet peas plants and they really, really enjoy the tractors and all the animals out here. Ag Days helps benefit our communities by introducing the little kids to agriculture. This day benefits my students because it's a chance for them to come somewhere they're not normally 
um, invited to come. The kids get to come out and see the community coming together like the older kids and it sets a really good example for like the younger kids to come up and be able to do this when they get older too. Okay, I think Ag Days um, kind of brings kids into the agricultural community because Blythe is all Ag. makes them more aware of what Blythe is all about. It's just a teachable moment. They can actually start asking questions and it shows a big connection between the community and the school. Yep, this is a farming area so it's really good for them to know about it. My brother, like a few years back, he joined it and it looked really fun so I joined it too and it's pretty fun. To keep myself busy and for the animals and to help the community. I joined FFA because I care a lot about animals and agriculture and I thought it'd be a good experience. I've been doing 4-H for about eight years and when I joined Palo Verde High School I, I see this program and I noticed that it it was me. It all started like when I was in uh, middle school I heard of uh, FFA and I was always curious in doing it. I always wanted to do 4-H when I was younger. I didn't know how to get into the program though. What really first got me interested in FFA class was the animal projects because I was in 4-H before high school and my sister had convinced me to join FFA and then I really got in depth with the leadership and with the SAE projects so I really love FFA. It's helped me learn to become more responsible. You know. I learned a lot of uh, responsibility and to manage my time, time management. I learned that we uh, do a lot of community service which is good. And it's really taught me a lot about like community because all the things that we do in FFA, like the whole community comes out and supports everything that we do and it's really nice. FFA benefits my life in high school because I get to help out the community and help others learn about agriculture as well as myself. I've learned that it's way more than about vegetables and fruits, you know, you got ag mechanics, you got horticulture and the list goes on, it, it's a big deal. No, um, FFA it's really diverse. Like. At first, like some people may think, oh, it's only for like the country kids, just because it's like the animals and outside. But really, when you're in it, there are lots of people you would like. You might think, like, oh, I never knew this person would like to do that. So there's a wide range of people in it. The basic stuff about agriculture, a lot of stuff that I didn't know before, with your animal, how many times you have to feed them, and just how much work you have to actually do. It helps me because it's a good organization and helps you keep better grades because you have to have grades to do projects such as an animal for fair. I've learned that it's leadership over selfishness and that there is multiple agriculture opportunities out there for this world, not just business. You really have a good wide open spread of what you can do in various ways. Are you enjoying Ag Day so far? Oh, it's awesome. I love talking to little kids and stuff. It comes from the ground and comes from the trees. Um, some come from seeds and come out of the ground, and some come from animals, too. Gardens and stuff. Some food grows from the ground, like fruits and vegetables, and some of them comes, like, from animals. Food came from a farm. <laughs> from the, the cows, the pigs. The chickens. I like grapes, though. Do you like carrots? Yes. Cotton um, gives a shirt from cotton. It is cotton. What's your shirt made out of? Cotton. They're made of cotton. I knew they were made of cotton, but I didn't know they were co coming from farmers. I learned to take care of the animals, to feed the animals, and to wash the animals. Is that pumpkins come in different places? Um, I learned that the inside of the pumpkin, that you can just take some out and then you can eat that part. <laughs> in a small pumpkin, there's 200 seeds, and in a big pumpkin, there's 400 seeds. Um, some, some animals kind of smell. You put the seed in the, the pot and you water them and that's how they grow. You can plant food. You can do all uh, stuff. The petting zoo. Yeah. Sheep and the horses. The farm. Tractors. Oh. The pumpkins that they taught us. Seeing the tractors. Um, my favorite part was um, the one where the pumpkins, where they lift the top of the pumpkin and we get to see the inside and they um, have the seed in the bag. 
the tractors. Thank you, FFA, for our day. I, I think that with CWA and FFA together uh, in this project, we're getting the word out there that agriculture is a very important part of this community. And as the community starts to grow and things start to change, we need to keep that out in front of the public and let them understand uh, how important water is to our valley and that the water is a very important commodity for agriculture. And being an agricultural valley, um, it's our biggest industry in our valley. We need to just get the word out to the young men and women and also the adults of the community. Uh, and we need to let them understand that CWA is an important part uh, of the agriculture community and FFA is a big integral part of ag education.